Hi guys, welcome to Drum Dog, and today's video is for everyone who can't work out why their drum teacher wants them to practice rudiments on a practice pad that all sound like tap, 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 tap. tap. Now today's video is all about turning our boring pad rudiments into fills on the kit which sound great. Because at the end of the day that is the point of learning all of these patterns. When we're learning them for the first time and we're just practicing them on the pad it can seem kind of like it's not really going anywhere because you're playing all of these different things like the paradiddles and your paradiddle diddles and your double paradiddles and they all sound like Tap 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 because you're practicing them on a practice pad. So today we're going to be looking at the recipe to take these patterns from our practice pad, apply them to the kit where they are going to sound a whole lot more exciting. Now before we get into our recipe, why is it that we want to apply rudiments to the kit in the first place? Why don't we just stick with our single strokes and moving around the kit because that sounds pretty cool. Well, the whole point of these rudiments and these different patterns are to get around the kit with different hands, hence our doubles in the rudiments, and be able to put accents on different ends of the kit in more interesting places. So applying fills with a more rudimentary approach instead of single strokes is really going to open up a whole world of orchestrations and accents and far more exciting versions of things that we just can't access with single strokes alone. It can be a little harder at first to start applying these more developed stickings, but with a little bit of practice on the pad before we take it to the kit, you'll be flying around in no time. Now without further ado, let's get on to our recipe for getting these rudiments to the kit. And our recipe is as simple as these two points. Now point number one, we can, we don't have to, but we can use single strokes as accents around any part of the kit. So that could be an accent on the snare, an accent on a tom, or an accent on a cymbal. It's important to remember if we are putting an accent on a cymbal, we're gonna wanna put a bass drum underneath it to give it a nice bit of attack. But I do wanna stress that we can play single strokes as accents, but we do not have to. So we can pick out certain single strokes for accents as we need them. Now our second point, is all double strokes are gonna be left on the snare drum. So that's it. We can move our single strokes around as accents on our snare, tom, or cymbals, and our doubles are gonna be left on the snare. It's as simple as that. Now let's apply it. So let's kick off things with our paradiddle here. And for our paradiddle, we're gonna be picking our first single stroke, right, left, right, right. And then we're gonna be picking the left equivalent of that first single stroke, left, right, left, left. So let's put our right accent on the floor tom and our left accent on tom number one. And as we said, as well as our tom accents, we can play those accents up on our cymbals. So same thing up on the cymbals. Now so far so good, but we do have more single strokes in this paradiddle that we are not yet using. So now let's pick out our right left as our accents and then our right right on the snare and then the opposite, our left right as accents with our left left back on the snare. So this time we're gonna be moving up the kit, floor tom, tom one, double on the snare, then back down the kit, tom one, floor tom, left left on the snare.
And now again, the same thing up on the cymbals, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. And now it should really quickly become apparent how many options we have open up in front of us here just from orchestrating our, our single strokes of a single paradiddle. We've already got a load of options there. And now with those options alone, we can play the game of mix and match. So we can move those accents around the kit as we see fit, even mixing up toms then straight to a cymbal, but our double strokes are always gonna be back on that snare. So just within that little range of choices, we've got so many options for a potential fill. So once all of those versions are feeling comfortable, let's just let our hands wander and see what sounds good on the kit. And now all of a sudden our paradiddle sounds a little bit more exciting than tap, 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 because we're using that sticking to get around the kit in more interesting ways than just single strokes. Let's apply another rudiment. So our paradiddle's sounding pretty good, but we could use this for any rudiment. So let's say our five stroke roll, okay? So our five stroke roll, we've got two doubles and a single. Right, right, left, left, right, or left, left, right, right, left. So in this case, both of those doubles are gonna be happily on the snare, and then our single with our right or our left, we can move around the kit, snare, toms, or cymbals and kick. But to make it a little bit more interesting, let's butt our five stroke rolls right up to each other. So instead of having a quarter note, one E and a two, three E and a four, let's just make our accent an eighth note. So we're gonna be looking at one E and a two and a three E and four. Four E and a one. And again, you can quickly see how many options open up from what is otherwise a very simple rudiment. It's a double, double, single. But all of a sudden we've got loads of options to actually orchestrate it on the kit in ways that sound far more exciting than tap, 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 tap. Now, one more way that we could adjust any of these rudiments to make them sound a little bit more useful in some situations is to not always start them on beat one. So still looking at our five stroke roll here, let's say we wanna roll into beat one instead of starting the roll on beat one. So we're gonna be looking at it as a one, two, three, four E and a one, two E and a three, four E and a one. So that way we're getting our accent on our downbeat instead of starting our roll on our downbeat. Now, once we've gone through this process with a few rudiments and we've gone through that kind of learning the rudiment, then kind of predetermining how we're gonna orchestrate it on the kit 
and then getting used to that and then kind of branching out and starting to come up with different combinations, you will find that as you then apply the next rudiment, these shapes and patterns come to you a little bit quicker, kind of putting those accents on the toms, putting them on the symbols, then mixing our toms with our symbols. You'll find each rudiment you apply it to just feels that little bit more natural. So this time, let's check out our para diddle diddle. And with our para diddle diddle, we are gonna be accenting our para and then diddle diddle back down on the snare. I feel like this whole concept really encapsulates the amazing musical mileage of quite a simple idea. And that idea being singles orchestrated as accents, doubles on the snare, that's it. And then all of these different patterns that we're learning and we're practicing, all of a sudden open up this whole umbrella of cool ideas that sound a bit more interesting than just moving around the kit in single strokes. And that reason alone is why your drum teacher wants you to practice rudiments on your pad. It doesn't sound exciting and sometimes it is boring if that's not what you're into, but if we get these patterns absorbed and your hands learn them as muscle memory, all of a sudden we can play stuff that sounds really exciting on the kit. Now I really hope this concept has been useful for you guys and it gets you breaking out of that single stroke mold and using some of these rudiments to actually make music. If you guys enjoyed this lesson, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out all the other lessons that we've got available in our lessons playlist. And we hope to see you again soon.